The fifth and the last thing that you really need to know about pandas is that the community is there for you. I mean, they're probably not going to be there for you personally, individually, but they've been there for a lot of people so far. And a lot of knowledge has been accumulated online on Stack Overflow or other blogs, everywhere around the internet. So when you need an answer to a question, really just type it on Google. If you get an error, just type it on Google, exactly the error that you get. Chances are, no matter how complex your question is or your error is, or no matter how simple your error or question is, you're going to get an answer to it. Because there's just so many people who have already used Pandas who have fallen into all the traps that you could ever think of falling in. Even when I don't have a problem, when I don't have an error and I actually implemented or coded exactly what I wanted to do, I sometimes still actually search for what I'm trying to do. I literally just type what I am trying to do in a more, in the most concise way that I can. And I still look at how people do the same thing that I'm trying to do and see if my way is the most efficient way. Because sometimes, you know, you see someone doing a little bit of a better job than you. And that's seriously how I learned most of my knowledge on pandas when it comes to coding. This has been Panda Secrets that will make your life easier as a beginner. But if you're interested in learning about the functions of pandas and how they're used, go ahead and check out my pandas common functions cheat sheet. There I have definitions on, you know, on functions that will deal with missing values or deal with duplicates, or you can learn how you can change the values of the data frame. So I'll give you the definitions and the functions and also some extra tips and tricks that I don't talk about here. So go ahead and check that out. I will make sure to leave a link in the description of this video.